Hello guys, welcome to RT Fit. So I'm gonna give you a little update because we haven't done this in a while and it has changed massively since the last one. So as you can see, we're in the reception here. CCTV is on and working. You can't go anywhere in this place without being seen. So uh, we have a lot still to do, but we are about three and a half, four weeks from opening um, and a lot has been happening. Every day it has been very, very full on. Uh, I must admit, I was a bit naive in thinking I'd be able to do this in the time period we've had. We have only had probably nine months of this, 10 months of this, and this is a, a 20,000 square foot facility with a massive, massive renovation. So it's, ha it's got barbers, salons, uh, aesthetic room, treatment rooms, seminar rooms, spin rooms, changing rooms, cafe, <laughs> restaurant, posing, uh, recovery room. There's a lot gone into this place and I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to open the doors. Um, anybody who's looking to join as a prospective member, the opening day is obviously the 2nd of January, but we are doing like a, what's the word? A walk around on the 16th of December. So this video should be out a week before if Ash pulls his, uh, his finger out his ass and gets it done. So 16th of December, we are gonna be doing an opening day where you, you can come, have a look at the facility uh, before signing up. It is free to come on that day. All you need to do is go on the website, um, www.rt fit.co.uk and just apply for the three day pass. Um, so anyway, enough of that Alex. Let's go and have a look at the uh, facility. Oh, hey. So this is the walk through the gym area and then down to the, re the, um, the changing rooms, the studios, all that kind of thing. So it will be fingerprint. Um, it will be fully manned, but it's gonna be fingerprint as well. And you're gonna have an app, your personalized app. It's gonna show you all the classes, everything going on. You can book the recovery room through that um, and all sorts of things, really easy to use. Uh, but we're gonna go, we've seen the gym quite a few times. So we'll leave the gym off for now. We're gonna carry on down here. Things that you may not have seen yet. Ash has got a cold, so that big snivel there <laughs> is him. <laughs> Come on down. Uh, we're not gonna go into here yet, but that's the commercial kitchen but it's not fully finished yet. But we can have a quick look. Go on, have a look around. Still got a, a lot to do in there, <laughs> a lot. But we are hoping to be on track um, and that should be able to do 250 fresh meals a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner, um, as well as prep meals. So there's a lot gonna go on in there. We've got an awesome team taking over that place. So looking forward to that. We've got the changing rooms, which are nearly complete. Um, I'll try, if Ash can find the footage from when we first took this place on, what this looked like. This was, yeah, just wasn't even a changing room. It was just a nightmare. But, as you can see, I went for the, I went black everywhere, to be honest with you, the brick tile. Um, we're nearly finished, all plumbed in. It's just the finishing touches clean down, um, a repaint, obviously freshen up, and then all seal in the floor. But coming in, we've got obviously the changing area here. Would you believe these were actually my fence panels from home, which I've uh, done myself. We literally um, sanded them down, or I sanded them down, burnt them, scoured them, lacquered them. I think they look great. Uh, and then we've got the changing rooms here. So this is underfloor heating, um, and then we've got a shower changing room uh, confined on its own. So the facility now as well has full air con, full heating, um, everything like that. So uh, you're never gonna get cold in those winter months. You're never gonna get too hot in the hot summer months. We go down to here, we've got the male changing room. So again, exactly the same as the female. We did do a poll about doing like a, a unisex, because I know that's quite a modern uh, way of thinking nowadays, but 98% wanted separate change rooms. So they're slightly smaller than I'd like, but has everything in here. We've got multiple toilets, we've got changing rooms, shower rooms, everything. As you can see, there is no um, lockers in the change rooms, but there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So we're interrupting this video because the Heavenly Coffee Company have just turned up and this is really important to show you. 
So this is a massive point for me. In RTEs, we have teamed up with the Heavenly Coffee Company. And it's a local company to me, and they are supplying the coffee machine, which is gonna make like barista, you know, the old style, awesome coffee you get from very, very smart establishments. Um, and we're, we've actually roasted and done our own coffee beans. So we've got RT Eats coffee beans, which we are gonna be selling and obviously serving by the cup here. And they're actually installing the coffee machine today. So I'm really excited about that. So I wanna show it you as we go along and I'll carry on showing the facility too and scrap that about the Heavenly Coffee Company. We're gonna go back to that later on in the video because they're not quite ready. So we're gonna carry on with the tour. This is the um, shower room disabled uh, access room facility. So it's gonna be an all in one room. Uh, we're nearly done on there. We're just waiting for the, the stuff to come through. And then this is the spin room. This this is what blows my mind. It's way beyond what I ever imagined it to be. And I didn't realize the technology um, did all this. So come and have a look at this. This bad boy, I don't know much about, <laughs> but it basically controls all the music and um, all, the, all the lighting. So I'll, I'll show you some of the scenes and then we'll go from there. So this is gonna be the spin room um, slash yoga room as well. So we've got scene one. Scene two, check that out. We've got scene three. Scene four. And this music, th these lights actually go to the beat of the Yes, track. yeah, so basically inside the, um, inside the ceiling, it's got um, a, a microphone and it learns the beat straight away. So then it basically plays, the music plays and matches up um, to the lighting, which is just insane. How they do that, I don't know. But um, yeah, like I say, it's pretty sick. Definitely a bit more than uh, the bodybuilding gym that I'd set out to be, where it was just a spit and sawdust, uh, no heating, hardly any lighting, just a bit Dorian Yates style kind of place, but. Will you be doing any spin classes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to try it. I've got to try the new Primal bikes out. Um, again, massive shout out to Primal. They've absolutely excelled in everything they've done here. Uh, the equipment is unbelievable. I have, I have had a little test, I must admit. Not to, to the standard it needs to be at, but I've had a little try of it. <laughs> They're brilliant. Right, let's carry on. So as you can see, we are nearing completion. The floor's done. Uh, the, all the walls need repainting. It all needs freshening up and stuff. But most of the building works is finished now and it needs to be because we're only three weeks out from filming, uh, from filming, from opening. We've got big man here, Dale, who has made all the custom made lockers. So that was the reason I was saying in the changing rooms that um, we didn't really have enough room in there. So how many have we got in total, Dale? 44. 44 in total. So we've got plenty of space to, to put all your, uh, yeah your belongings in and then we go through here check this out so this is the more like clinical spaces so we've got done all the the yeah the training aspect this is more where you do all your treatments from so we've got three treatment rooms all near enough finished we've just got the floorings going it's gone very cold now so the, the floorings had to be stopped until we get the heating on which is yeah days away so hopefully we can get that finished um We've had over 170 applicants, would you believe, um, to go through to, to get the right people in here. So we're just working through that in a minute because I don't want to just rush it and get anybody in. It, it needs to fit with what I'm trying to create here, like the community I'm trying to create. And um, yeah, it, the ethos, yeah. Well said there, Ash, well said. Uh, and then we've got the barbers. Um, this obviously is not finished yet. We're just waiting for, I've gone for like, matte black for, for a change, uh, stations and stuff like that. We have got three barbers going in here um, who are phenomenal. Uh, they, they're even traveling from afar, which is quite cool. Um, and they've, they've done a lot, of, a lot of barbering in their time. So they've got good experience. So looking forward to getting them in. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll introduce them and the team once they're in and that's all uh, up and running. And then we've also got the hair salon, uh, as you can see, she's just started to put a few bits in. Uh, Beth Oakley, 
absolutely phenomenal uh, hairdresser and uh, I'm going to introduce her as well. I'm going to try and get her on camera just to showcase what she's doing down here. Um, again, three and a half weeks out, we've got to get this done. So is she in charge of actually making that bespoke to herself? Yeah, so that's um, yeah. in addition to the company she's already got now. So she's got a big salon in, in town. This is going to be more like a, a boutique style. She's got a very good reputation. She's got a lot of girls working for her. So this is just going to be um, where you want that like more intimate one-to-one -one type of uh, service. And then you've obviously got RTs with the Brista coffee machines going in to, to service as well. As you can see, it still looks like a bit of a building site, but it's not. It's just all stuff what needs clearing out. Once it's all cleared out, it will look finished. The doors, everything like that will be going in very soon. Um, they will get arriving in two days and then we're going to get straight onto the installation. Uh, what? Uh, no, can can the wife pick uh, Alfie up, please? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, right, so I'm going to close it here. So as you can see, we are nearing completion. They're coming in now with uh, the coffee machine, so that's perfect timing. So we can revert back to what I just talked about earlier. Hello, you're right. You yeah, very good yourself. <laughs> um, so right, we're going to film this part now, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to end it, end it then actually. Shot in there, look. Beautiful. This is exciting. Check that bad boy out. So we've got the mugs. Which ones are these then, Luke? That's these seven are tea. Ounce, um, so that'll be for your flat white. Flat, flat white. Whites. Then you've got your mugs for lattes. Nice. And then we've even got, look at these bad boys as well. Our teas, we've got all the nice um, teas, like the herbal teas coming out as well. It's an exciting day this is. <laughs> Christmas has come early. Christmas has come early, you're right. We've got the signs going up, so obviously showing all the different coffees and, and how to make them. We've also got uh, where the coffee beans have, have originated from, which I think is a, a great touch as well, so you can have a little read about that. We've got some biscuits. Ooh. Go for it. Right, so this is a 10 ounce cup. Yep. So what we're doing, if you were making an Americano, yep. is you would just press this button here, which should give you the right amount of water for, for 10 a 10 ounce cup. Yep. Always put your water in first, and then put your espresso on top of your water. Right. Otherwise, the water may disperse the creme up, which you've already put in your cup. Right, okay. So I'm just gonna put your water into that cup. And then this this basket, what I've already put your 16 grams of coffee in. Yep. And I'm just going to press your double espresso. Look at that. 26 seconds, which yeah. is perfect. Okay. So what you notice now... And, and can I just ask, sorry, for each coffee you do, like a different style of coffee, yeah. does it be a different time, or is it 26 for all of them? No, for a double espresso, it'll all depend on how hard you tamp it, though. Yes, yeah. If you tamped it harder, it would, come take, out, it would take longer. longer. Yeah, yeah. If you did a loose tamp, it would Too come quick. out slightly quicker. But we always aim for 26, no matter what coffee no, we do. No, we don't really look at that. We just, okay. We, we, nowadays, we just look at the speed of it flowing. Right, okay. Years ago, we used to time it. Right, okay. But we found that this is nonsense timing it, because right. it's different with every coffee, isn't right. it? Right. With every coffee. Yeah. And so because you use your double hand, your double... Yeah. thank you. Have you set both, all the doubles identical, though? Yes, they're all yeah. identical. Yeah. But you would know if, for example... Oh, that's lovely. Right, guys, as you can see, changing clothes, because I forgot to do this in the other part of the video, but this is the recovery suite, so... Absolutely love this place. Massive shout out to Luke Mace, all the team at the Ice Bath Company 
for supplying what is, I think, the best recovery center in the UK. So we've got the ice bath, which goes down to one degrees. We've got a body dryer here, yes, a body dryer, the first in the UK, which is basically when you get out, you can dry off before you can get onto your reclining seat with your Normatec sleeves, high price, so you, you, all for your lymphatic drainage, uh, full body massaging. And then obviously we've got the sauna here. Um, it's an old school style uh, sauna, it gets up to heat very, very quickly. And I have tested this out quite a few times already and it is amazing, guys. We've got the rain shower going in here. I was gonna have a screen, but I think it's quite nice to just leave it nice and open, uh, less hazards for people to fall into. Um, and then obviously you've got the changing area here. So effectively, you take this on for the hour, you rent it out for the hour, and you and your partner or whatever in twos uh, can come in here and just basically get a full MOT. We've got the green light here, which shows it's in process and that you're still okay for the hour. Once that green light goes off, it shuts everything off. So be mindful. I'm gonna get a timer up here so you can set the timer for an hour. So be mindful of that. And then quickly over here, obviously there'll be a lockable door on there as well. <laughs> it won't be open to the gym. And then also we're in the posing room. This is all complete now. Obviously we need a door on here, but this is for you, your coach, um, or just you yourself to get your Instagram social media pictures or obviously if you're competing to get um, some updates on where you're at with your coach. We've got three different lighting systems. So we've got basically you can have it really light and then you can actually dim it down as well so you can make yourself look even more shredded if you want depending on how fat you feel on the day. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's it. So we've got a back mirror up there so you can shoot and see your back. Um, and if you can't see every inch of your body in here, you need some glasses, get to spec savers. As you can see, we have actually got an event on here today, rain, check it out, swizzle around. It's the first event I'm holding down here. It's only a small little event uh, for a couple of competition winners around Europe. So they're flying in from Germany, France, Spain, Sweden. Um, and yeah, we're nearly there, but I'm looking forward to hosting. So, I've had enough of you now. Please, will you vacate? Not see you later. Weather. Get yourself out there. <laughs>